Welcome back to the Hangout with Abe Kimani and once again, I'm here with a very important special guest. My name is Richo Kimani, also known as Mama Abi. I'm glad to be here. Yes, I am glad you're here too. So today we are going to be talking about a very interesting topic, which is friends and friendship. So mom, I have five questions for you as usual. Kamakawa. And uh, okay, first of all, let's talk about your nails. Look at how nice they are. Especially, so. mine are so short, and I've been trying to grow them. You, sh- you should cut your thirty much, right? That is called right? a competition. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just joking. You have nice nails, though. Look at how short mine are. This is what she's calling nice. It's not fair. It's not fair. They are not no, manicured. Okay. Mine work, they are worked out day in, day out. I do kind of uh, what you call hands-on job. Sometimes they chip, but they naturally grow. Maybe I, if I took care of them, they can be better. Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, we, the topic is not nails, <laughs> <laughs> but she has nice nails. Thank you. So, mom, question number one. Can you tell fake friends? Like, can you realize mm-hmm. that? Wait, this one is, she's a bit sass, yeah. Okay, wow, that's a delicate question. Oh. And hey, for, let me first begin by saying, my daughter Abby is a teen, and I think it will be an error for parents to underestimate the power of friendship for their children. It will be an error of judgment to think that friendships for teenagers is not important. I think it is very important. In fact, it has been said that children, sometimes they value their friends' input more than their parents, especially when their parents are not giving attention. So I have just answered the question, which was not asked, because I think it, it matters a lot. Friendship for children, for teenagers, even for us adults is very important. Can I tell who is a fake friend? fake friendships in, uh, in, in, in children's lives? I think yes. I am 50 years. I can tell. She doesn't really fake... look 50. Oh yeah. I know you think like, oh, she's like, she's 50. Thank you, Abby. I, I can tell a fake friend in my child's life or a parent out there, you can tell a fake friend in your children's life when you see one. Oh, who is a fake friend? Oh. Uh, I assume that a fake friend is one who's a friend with you for their own like personal like gain or personal interest. It could be to get more famous. It could be for or clout. It could be um, to manipulate you. It could be just to like bring you down or to use you for things. Yeah. All right. You see, even Abby knows who are fake friends. I think what fake mean, means even Abby? not true not authentic the some of the signs that i personally think parents some of the signs that parents that's use to know who is a fake friend is uh when your child is always under pressure to fit in into that friendship when your child is always under pressure to lie when they n- don't necessarily lie when your child is always feeling like their esteem does not measure up with their friends, when your child is feeling, oh, in this place, I'm the odd one out. And one of the most important things is, it is when your child has to fake it to be a friend. When your child has to be who they are not to be a friend. And when your child has to really actually even go down to a point of emotional you know, depression in order to be accepted in that child. So th- I believe that is what um, most of you parents see as signs of fake friendship. Personally, if I think my children are stressed out because they have been left out, I think that could be a red sign, a red light, that flag. a red flag that the friendship is not okay. If I find that my child is always working day in and out, 
to be who they are not meant to be i would tell that person that friend is not influencing them very well yeah okay mm. so thank you uh, now uh, question number two if i started hanging out with the wrong company you know those kids who are like sour to like uh, those children the ones who stole my chicken if, if people would do that what to do do um, for me the role of Rachel Kimani mama abi is maybe to to help to guide you to mentor you to help you see who are your friends what are the qualities that you look out for when you're looking for a friend first and foremost they are not my friends they are your friends so you must be able to find peace peace and you know peace is defined as that state of feeling at calm even when circumstances are not okay you're okay uh it would be it i can't tell you kick them out perhaps i would tell you have you looked out for this do you think it is okay for you to hang out with somebody who has traits of stealing petty crimes of not even chicken we can begin with that uh, you have misplaced your marker pen you have misplaced your book and you finally find it in your friend's handbag it's not murder but it's a telltale sign i would help you to slowly get out but before you even get out abi maybe i would help you to help your friend get rid of that habit because maybe it's a habit they don't know sometimes children want to steal for the sake of they want to have more than three pencils i don't know for what eh hey, like what what do you do with three pencils mm-hmm. like Eliza mm-hmm. are you going to write it all three of them are you writing a book mm-hmm. please yeah so i wouldn't be so surprised but i wouldn't i wouldn't really think it's life and death mm-hmm. because right now friends matter choosing the right friend would be the most important thing and because i can tell if your friends lie it will be me to tell you hey there there's no consistency and even for parents i would say there sometimes uh, they able to tell my daughter's friend is not the right one they lie but are they okay they are okay those are good children they just need help here and there sure so um thank you uh now this question Do you think it's okay to have sleepovers? You see my hands? Yeah, I've said that before. Uh first I want to acknowledge there are families who allow sleepovers. There's nothing wrong with that because uh every family understand their children, they understand the boundaries they have put for their children, they understand their friends' friends and they understand their friends' parents. because uh, every family has different sets of rules for our family sleepovers no because <laughs> because of the reasons we have discussed before sometimes i be the things that we will do here you have no control actually over how another family runs their things and It is very important when you're on the road and you're driving. I have learned something that um I was told you have the right of way until you get to the road. when you get to the road it's always good to assume. Yes you have the right of way but you don't know what the other person had done in the morning. As you get to the roundabout and you say I have to go you'll be knocked. When you're on the road you assume you're the only person who is seen. in that scenario it's important for you to believe in yourself and it's important for me to think as opposed to you going over how about if your friends came over now i i i knew you'd say that now the problem is that if all parents say that whose house will they go to it's not all parents oh, no, no, who do that i'm <laughs> sorry i'm sorry but if all like let's say i have three friends right um show window and pillow shoes parents say <laughs> that no you can't go to other people's house let them come windows parents say you can't go to other people's house let them come and uh what is that the name pillows ane uh mother you said shoe father. pillow and shoe window and pillow and pillows parents say that no you can't go to other houses 
then you but they can come here who's going to go to whose house no one is this is <laughs> do you know what i think <laughs> be, that would be a moment mm-hmm. of these three families learning each other because we normally say you either influence people or people do what influence. they influence you it could be a good opportunity actually for these three radical families to learn to since now but i know what how, how can they learn anything if they're not having sleep over no but if they come here i start because learning because the parents said no <laughs> oh <laughs> no but this always a start there will be a family where they say i think i know so and so i think i know so and so it's okay for you to go but now i will call their parents i will make sure that the parents know that abby is going there what is the agenda of the sleepover is that uh, is that friend of abby's parent going to be a chaperone around there like because you can't just assume because you have met you need guidelines you need responsibilities you need guarded liberty you know uh, so it is it, it is always a place to start from and it could be here and if your friends keep on coming here then i realize oh we are catching up well what is wrong with me maybe later on after several seasons of them coming over here you going but it starts with me understanding i do not know so much what what happens outside there but i know at least what happens okay. here okay yeah so um uh is it okay to have a boy friend or a friend is a boy that i'm really close with mm, close like how what 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 is the boundary line what is the closeness like no like, like maybe like as close as i am with a girl friend mm. but this the difference is the gender it's it's okay to have a friend of the opposite gender i think we have even told you that it will be very fun if you only have girlfriends because at this stage and i'm assuming even like this question is being asked even for so many of your age mates because we hit the roof when we hear a boy a boy a boy a boy you know yes we we do hit the roof parents do that because they are cautious because right now what we should try and understand is that you are attracted adolescence has hit even your age meets adolescence has hit and they are attracted to the opposite gender that's very natural actually that's very healthy now that is why i asked how close because they say opposites do what attract isn't it opposites attract so when you get so attracted and attracted and attracted you'll begin to develop some sparks Catch that feelings. make your that yeah to catch feelings <laughs> and your blood will start producing oh, sparks please. that are not necessary for you at this time so it's okay to have a a a, a friend who is a boy but there are lines that you say because if you don't watch out for your own two guarded lines it can go over and you cross over to other boundaries okay mm. no is so uh, the last question what would you do if i didn't have any friends like i'm just lonely i'll be with no friends you know like the thing is even though I'm, i tend to think i'm more introverted than extroverted even though i am extroverted sometimes mm. i tend to pick like one person mm. and i just hang around them like the whole time just one person mm. like just i just follow them ever like that's it mm. but no no friends no friends at all but come it, here Hello, how are you having fun with your friends? Oh no, I don't, I don't have friends. It 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 it's a it's a sign. Mm-hmm. It, it would be a point of concern because uh every parent knows that every devel- develop developmental stage requires different set of friends because as you when you're younger you have so many young ones you're playing with then you become a teenager then you become a teenager then you become a young adult like that and every stage requires different people kind of friends so it would be a point of concern more so to do with is there something that you're dealing with because god has created our personalities the introverts and the extroverts introverts actually have a way of creating even very many powerful friends the next extrovert can make a friend and they drop them even you know so suddenly it would be a point of concern it could be de- you're dealing with yourself one of the things that abi you may not know 
and parents outside there know, and I can also maybe just repeat it. When teenagers are growing, they have so many challenges by themselves. They are dealing with self-identification. They are looking for themselves. They are looking for who they truly are, and they need that time. And sometimes, because friends try to define them. Have you ever been in a group whereby people are introducing you to you? And uh, parents know that when my young son, my young daughter is trying to look for themselves, they can look for time out. But it's a point of concern. Everybody has a way of mingling. I would encourage, if I realize that is happening, I would first deal with what is disturbing Abby, because it could be something. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So thank you very much, Mom, for coming mm. here today. You're welcome. Coming to my show. Mm. Uh, thank you. It's only the pleasure. So, oh, it's, it's a pleasure working with you. So I'll see you guys on the next one. But before you leave, please leave a like and subscribe. You can also share this video with your family or your friends if you think that they may need to see this and be like, what, what did your mom say? But I'd love to see what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.